guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I have a Trader Joe's grocery haul for you today. This haul was $150, but before I jump in and show you everything, I have a special giveaway today um, on this video only. And let, let me go ahead now um, and tell you guys about the giveaway, and then I will come back and show you everything I got. All right, guys, so I'm going to be giving away on this video only. The giveaway is exclusive to this video. This is a carry out meal planner. It is the mini size. So I'm going to go ahead and put it next to mine. So this is the one you guys see every week that I use, and this is the one that you will be winning. Um, it is the mini meal planner. It is smaller, as you can see. Definitely more easily able to be portable. This is in the Magnolia print. I personally chose this print for the giveaway. Um, really, really high quality. Really, really nice binding. Um, nice paper. It's got all your meal plan lists with your grocery list that you can tear off. It's got a ton of room, different gatherings. It's just a great great meal planner so I'm gonna be giving this away to one of my subscribers all you need to do is and all you need to do to enter is comment down below in this video and just tell me how you found my channel Grady's mom on YouTube so you can tell me you know you were searching for a certain type of video and you found it or maybe it was a recommended channel or something I would just love to know how you came across Grady's mom on YouTube that's all you have to do to enter this giveaway is open internationally, so anywhere in the world I will ship this to. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful planner. Um, I know it will really help and motivate you if you want to start meal planning or you already meal plan. You will love it. In addition, the winner is also going to receive this adorable, um, also by Carrie Al passport journal. Um, I love these. I actually have one. Um, I don't know about you guys, but you, sometimes we have so many passwords, we never know what's what. So this book have, has everything all in one. You can put the website, your username, your password, any little notes, like if there's a pin number or something. Um, and it's perfect for traveling because when you're traveling, uh, and maybe you're not on your home PC, sometimes you need to log into something. This book is where it's at. I love mine. So you'll be receiving this along with a meal planner. And then I also grabbed this little um, unicorn hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. Uh, this is in the scent Magical Mango. It says my unicorn made me do it. And then this is a little holder for it um, from Bath and Body Works. And it actually just slides right in here. Hopefully I can do this one handed like that. And then you can flip it open and get your hand sanitizer and you could hang this off of your bag, your purse, your diaper bag, your keychain, really anywhere. I just thought it was really cute. So yes, good luck to everybody. Um, I am going to run this giveaway starting today on Friday and I will close it one week from today on next week's grocery haul. So in next week's grocery haul, I will announce the winner in the beginning of that video and then I will need the winner to email me their name, their contact you know, information as far as their mailing address so I can ship all of this out to you. Also an F FYI or a little disclaimer, on this video I will not be replying to um, every single comment just because there's going to be a lot more comments than usual and I can barely as it is keep up with the comments that I get on a day to day basis. So I promise every single comment will be seen. I will try to like all the comments that I can, like thumbs up them so you know that I saw them. Um, but if I don't reply to your comment, please don't think that you're not entered or I didn't see it or notice it. I will make sure to keep a log of every single person that comments as an entry. Good luck everybody and now let's go ahead and take a look at my meal plan and my grocery haul for the week. All right, so I'm gonna work my way this way today. Uh, I have a lot of freezer things because I did. I wanted to stock up my freezer um, because I love having Trader Joe's things in my freezer on hand that I can use as main dishes, as side dishes, or as quick lunches. So over in this corner, I got some of the ciabatta rolls. I believe there are four large ciabatta rolls in here, which I'll use for my husband's lunches or just sandwiches in general. They're really tasty. I hauled this last Trader Joe's trip. It's the French berry lemonade, and it's really, really good. I believe it's $2.99 for a bottle. Um, so it is a little pricey, but it's good as like a little treat. 
I got a beautiful fresh pineapple and then I got a bunch of things in like the bulk nut aisle so I got some lightly sweetened dried coconut strips I got some 50% less salt dry roasted salted almonds a huge bag of organic banana chips I love their banana chips a big bag of dried apricots from Turkey and then a large bag of the raw hazelnuts and what I hope and plan to do is take these five items and make little trail mix snack bags for myself obviously I'll go heavier on the almonds and the hazelnuts since they are bigger bags this is pretty big too but I plan to actually make up several little snack bags and put them in my cabinet and then keep one in my handbag or one in my car um, just so that when I'm out and about and I'm starving, I can grab for one of these because these are all really hearty and kind of more healthy things than just going to buy a snack or, you know, something like that. So all these things were really, really good prices, I think. Um, I also picked up a bunch of greeting cards. I've mentioned before, I love Trader Joe's cards. They are a dollar and I know you can get cards at like the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store. Um, I and I have I personally just think these are nicer higher quality cards um, than the Dollar Tree or a dollar store but I'm just tired of paying when you go to Target or Walmart you're paying like four or five six dollars for a card that somebody's gonna read and to be honest probably throw out um, because that's just what we do with cards after we've read them and maybe kept them on the counter for a little while. Anyways, I got five cards. So I just got a couple little like motivational cards, some birthday cards. These are encouragement cards, a couple birthday cards. And again, guys, a dollar, really pretty cards, really nice, high quality. Um, so I definitely saved myself some money there. I don't know if I said sweet potatoes, but I got a bag of sweet potatoes for roasting. I, we also throw these on the barbecue grill. And then I got a couple beauty items. So this is the Trader Joe's Facial Cleansing Oil with Argan and Coconut Oil. Um, I love cleansing oils and I like trying new ones. I've never tried this one. Um, and I use this as like step two of taking off my makeup. So I'll let you guys know how that is. And then I also got the Trader Joe's Rose Facial Oil. Lately, as in very lately, I've been trying to just start taking better care of my skin now that I'm getting older, um, and I never did when I was younger, but I really want to start getting more into it. So I thought I would give this a try. I think it was like $6, like $5.99, so it was very inexpensive. This was also around like 6 bucks, um, which is inexpensive as well for a cleansing oil. And then moving along, I grabbed some Just the Clusters Maple Pecan Granola Cereal. Um, I thought maybe my husband would like this, and also I thought I could use this to put on yogurt. If I get some yogurt, I can put this on top with some fresh fruit. I got my husband's favorite granola bars. They are the vanilla almond chewy coated and drizzled granola bars. Um, he absolutely loves these. I got Grady some of these um, low fat yogurt squishers. They're like yogurt tubes. Um, so there's berry and cherry in here and it's perfect because we just ran out of Go-Gurts or the Stonyfield Go-Gurt things. So those are gonna be perfect. A big thing of bananas because my son likes to eat like a banana every day. I got some aged Swiss cheese sliced and I also got some pepper jack cheese sliced burger sandwiches things like that um now I'm going to move into some frozen things like I mentioned guys I like to keep my freezer stocked with all different Trader Joe's items um they're just perfect for when you really don't feel like cooking a whole lot or you want just a quick side so I grabbed the linguine with clam sauce I don't think I've ever tried this from there um but I thought this would be a good side dish maybe with just a salad and some bread. So I grabbed that to throw in the freezer. I've been eyeing this stuff for years. I've never tried it from there. Uh, this is the Kung Pao chicken. So for those who aren't familiar, it's dark meat chicken, mixed veggies, and a spicy soy ginger sauce, and it does have peanuts in it. So again, a quick dinner option for a busy night, and I can throw it in the freezer, make some white rice or some brown rice, a little salad, and the whole dinner is done. Um, I also got some of these baby zucchini, so cute. Um, I get these, I don't know, like every other Trader Joe's trip. I like to cut them lengthwise and put a little olive oil, salt, pepper, and just roast them. Um, they're also really good to chop up and put in like soups or any kind of pasta dish. 
really yummy. I got a can of pinto beans because these are the beans that I needed to restock my pantry cabinets. A big head of cauliflower because I'm going to try my hand at some cauliflower. Um, buffalo bites, which is supposed to be like a chicken wing type of hack for ca with cauliflower. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I got some fresh rosemary because I love rosemary and I love using it when I do roasted veggies um, or roasted meats for the week. I got a huge bag of the French style Air Covert green beans. I have mentioned these many times in Trader Joe's hauls. These green beans are absolutely delicious. The best way to cook these I have found is bring them to a boil. Right when they start to boil, you drain them and then just let them sit in the hot pan with a little butter, salt, and pepper and kind of like steam a little bit with the lid on. Really, really good. I love these so much. I got some baby arugula, spinach, and lettuce salad mix for a dinner salads. I got a couple bags of the Trader Joe's hash browns because we do breakfast for dinner once a week. So I will throw these in the freezer. They're really good hash browns. I got some of the Trader Joe's rosemary ham, which is pretty yummy. And then I also got some of the Columbus brand um, pastrami, which is one of the few non-Trader Joe's brands that Trader Joe's carry. So I got these for sandwiches for my husband or I for lunches. I grabbed some of the shredded green and red cabbage with carrot, kind of coleslaw mix. Um, I do this all the time. I get, usually get it from Walmart. I just saute it up, a little bit of olive oil, season it up, and then it's a great, great side dish, um, and it's pretty healthy as well. I grabbed some Driscoll's raspberries. They look absolutely beautiful. And then I also got some of these Wish Farms um, strawberries that look beautiful as well. The berries are looking great this time of year. I grabbed some burgers to throw in the freezer for when we grill and have friends over. I have some burgers in the freezer. Big, big bag of celery hearts in here. And then this is probably one of my favorite all time ever Trader Joe's items. It is the sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage. I had actually not tried this until last year. And when I tried this, I was literally like, where has this been all my life? And if you think I'm kidding, I got four bags of it. It is that delicious. If you like sweet potato, if you like gnocchi, you will never look back. This stuff is bomb. I would not have gotten four bags if it wasn't. Actually, to be honest, one of the bags I'm going to give to my mom because I've been telling her about this and she's never had it. Um, so three are, three are going to go in my freezer. One will go to my mom. I know she's going to love it. It's so good, guys. I highly recommend this. It is easily one of my favorite items of all time from Trader Joe's. Moving along, I grabbed a honey walnut shrimp, which is crispy battered shrimp with candied walnuts. I've gotten this a couple times before. It is a very good dish, really easy, and you just serve it over some rice and make veggies. I actually like making this with these green beans and then some rice. This is a really good easy dish as well. Um, and then lastly, this pile here, yet another item if you couldn't tell that I love because I got three of them is the spicy Thai shrimp fried rice. This stuff is amazing. I could legitimately and have eaten a whole bag of this just as it is. It doesn't eat anything with it. It's got the shrimp, the veggies, the rice. It has even has egg in it. It's just so good. It definitely is spicy. So if you're not into spicy things, you'd want to skip this. But if you do like spice and you like shrimp fried rice, you will love this. It is absolutely delicious. I've done it both as a main meal and as a side. So I got three of those again for the freezer. And then lastly, I got one other type of gnocchi. This is the tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese gnocchi. And this is really good as well. I just personally happen to love this one more. I really like sweet potato a lot, if you couldn't tell. So yes, guys, I think that is everything. I thought that was a good amount of food for the price. Again, it was $150, like right on the dot. Please enter my giveaway. All you have to do, like I said earlier, is comment down below. Tell me how you found my channel. Uh, did someone recommend it? Did you stumble upon it? Were you looking for a certain type of video? That's all you need to do to enter. It's open international. Just comment below. Let me know how you found Grady's Mom on YouTube. I will announce the winner in next week's grocery haul, which is a week from today. Next Friday, I'll, I will announce that winner in the beginning of the video. 
I will ship it anywhere in the world to you. Good luck. Have a great weekend, guys. I'm going to share with you now my meal plan, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, so my meal plan for the week, which is Sunday, June 10th through Saturday, June 16th. One night I'm gonna do some baked chicken thighs. I bought a bunch of chicken thighs at BJ's last week. So I'm just gonna season them and bake them. I'll make some roasted sweet potatoes and then a simple tossed salad. We're gonna do BLT club sandwiches one night. I'm either gonna do fries in the oven, which I have like frozen Alexia fries, or I will do homemade potato wedges, which are really easy. You just cut up potatoes, season them, um, extra virgin olive oil, and then bake them. So either fries or potato wedges. My meatless night is going to be the buffalo cauliflower bites, which are supposed to mimic like buffalo chicken bites. If that recipe comes out good, I will probably do a video on it, but I will link the Pinterest link down below in this um, video in the description box. And then I'll do some roasted veggies and rice pilaf as like a side. So no meat that night. Another night I'm going to do the sweet potato gnocchi. I bought a beautiful pork loin at BJ's. It's a small one, so I'm going to roast that and then have the gnocchi on the side. And then I'm going to do the Trader Joe's green beans with garlic butter. Love those green beans. You guys have to check those out. And then another night I'm going to do like a little soup. I call it like a stoop because it's thicker than a soup, but it's not quite a stew. Um, it's like a sausage and veggie kind of soup again and then I serve it over ditalini. It's got a little bit of broth and then I'll do some cornbread with it. We are going to be um, going out with my in-laws or either either going out or barbecuing with them to celebrate Father's Day a little bit early. My father-in-law has been very, very, very sick and he's just finally starting to feel better. So fingers crossed that we can make that happen and either go to dinner with them or barbecue at their house with them. And then of course I have breakfast or leftovers on the meal plan as always to give myself a little bit of a break. Um, breakfast is really easy for me to do and then sometimes we have leftovers so I just do whatever kind of works out for that night. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the video again. Have a great weekend and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. <music>